what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about dog soldiers 2 we'll be talking about maxine we'll be talking about the conjuring tv show that is still on its way we'll be talking about terrify 3 and smile 2 so just to start off here with dog soldiers 2 neil marshall had an interview with inverse recently where he was asked to give an update on the staggering limbo project that is dog soldiers 2 he says i have got a feeling it's probably a dead it's probably dead in the water because things have gone very quiet from the other side now this is the complete opposite of what we heard last year marshall went on to say i'm not giving up though there's still a possibility We've been trying to get it off the ground for the past six years. I've got a story hammered out, but I've not written the script yet because I want to know if we're actually making it or not first. It's a good idea, and I know Kevin McKidd, who played Cooper in the original, is on board, but everything has gone very quiet, and we don't know why. We'll see. I can't live life waiting to see if it does happen. If it happens, it happens. It's always going to be a double-edged sword. The new concept for the story is fresh and acknowledges that 20 years have passed. The story is set in a confined setting, but a bigger one than the first film. So I like that last bit a lot. He also has made comments letting us know that he is aware that he does not want to put out something that is inferior or cannot live up to that original film. And I know those comments are important for a lot of people who have been watching Neil Marshall's decline as it's considered since he is not doing the same level of what we have seen from him in the past from movies like The Descent and Dog Soldiers and some other ones you might be a fan of his and people like or movies like The Lair and all, all of his other recent projects they have had put a bad taste in some people's mouth and have them concerned about him doing Dog Soldiers too but I know a lot of people still would love to see a second Dog Soldiers film happen nonetheless and hopefully something can get worked out if it doesn't happen then it just doesn't happen next thing we're going to talk about here is Maxine so Maxine early access tickets for July 3rd are on sale at this point in a few places at least I see that they are for several several people online so i figured i'd share that in this video today the screening again takes place this july 3rd and contrary to my tweet from yesterday i will not have my review out until july 3rd because i actually will be seeing it on july 3rd not july 1st it's not working out for me in my area so we got these cool character posters to confirm the names i had told you all about yesterday as well i really cannot wait for this film this will be a fun slasher experience that i can see becoming my favorite entry from this trilogy i know all of you well most of you who have been waiting for this film and have been watching my constant maxine videos you're going to have fun with the movie it's going to be something that lives up to the hype it's going to live up to the trailer you've seen and you will just fall in love with this film i know mia goth probably is going to give one of her best performances to date in this trilogy this material here in maxine for me so far is my favorite of the character as opposed to anything we saw in the original x film when we first met her back in 22 so i cannot wait to see what we all think about the execution when this releases in less than a month now at this point let me know if you guys have acquired your tickets down below if you haven't go look in your area to see if you can get your advanced tickets for the july 3rd screening now we're going to talk about the conjuring so our conjuring tv show that was announced last year is still in development according to casey Bloys, who is head of content at max this was the comment given to variety recently they said there are other properties in development like the conjuring which is a big movie franchise that we're developing into a series all we know at this point is plans exist for this to continue stories that were set up in the movies right now knowing how conjuring 4 will close the door on ed and lorraine i wouldn't expect them to appear in this show that's just me but patrick and vera are always welcome on my screen because their chemistry has been the heart of these conjuring movies for me they've done a tremendous job as ed and lorraine warren i will miss them after the conjuring 4 and hopefully the conjuring 4 is a slight of a slight improvement over what we got with 3 3 is arguably the worst it's not a bad movie i would say but it's the worst out of the three that we have and hopefully conjuring 4 can be back on par with if not the second movie even the first movie because those two are still considered the best for a lot of people myself included but are you guys looking forward to the conjuring tv show what would you like to see from a conjuring tv show let me know all that down below we're going to talk about this terrifier post that damien leone made on instagram where he seems to be hyping up the visual effects team or the makeup effects team he said that's a wrap on our incredible makeup effects team it was a scary relinquishing or it was scary relinquishing the makeup effects on terrifier 3 to another team 
since me and PJ Falcone did mainly all the work on part one and two. But this time around, the scope of the film was just too big and requirements were too great, so it was time to bring in an amazing team so I could focus on directing. Needless to say, the great Christian Tinsley and his crew brought my film into another stratosphere with their incredible artistry. They took on every insanely horrific idea I threw at them with gusto. No was never an option, even when it was something I came up with on spot last minute. Those are the kinds of artists and director dreams of working with. So thank you sincerely for wonderful collaboration. And I can't wait to see your work thrill audiences. To all us Hit Fire fans out there, you're seriously, you seriously can't imagine what's in store for you come October. Your stomachs will turn and your minds will be blown. Also a very special shout out and thanks to the two key members who were there with us knee deep in the bloody trenches every day on set, applying makeup and spraying blood. Now, I, of course, am looking forward to Terrifier 3. I cannot wait to see these effects come to life since he's hyping them up this much. I will say that I know a few weeks ago we also found out this bit of information that Tom Savini will be making an appearance in the film. I cannot wait to see Tom Savini, a legend in the horror community. Now, I will say that I think Tom could be playing this character, Professor Orton, that I've reported on in the past, an alleged character who's set to appear in the upcoming third entry in the Terrifier franchise. There was no mention of who Tom will be playing. That's just who I think he could be playing. I could see him having that small role as Professor Orton. If not Professor Orton, he's going to be this dude in the bar who also starts a fight with uh, art. I could be wrong on both of those, but we'll just have to wait and see. But last thing we're going to talk about here is Smile 2. So Smile 2 has a trailer runtime of two minutes and six seconds, or Smile Deluxe, I should say. We'll see if that title is actually going to stick based off of this trailer. But the trailer is apparently two minutes and six seconds. Now, I don't know exactly when it's going to drop online. I haven't heard anything official, but I can tell you this. The rumored date is tomorrow so thursday and it would make sense to have it out sooner rather than later online so that way you can start playing in theaters alongside paramount's upcoming other horror film that's dropping in june that's expected to be big for them which is a quiet place day one so you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and members of the video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video